The psychology of criminal justice is a massive topic and so what we have done in this course is to pull out some of the main areas to introduce you to the subject area. Whether you're a high school student, a university student or a professional working in this area wanting to find out more, our aim is to tell you a little bit about quite a broad range of areas rather than a lot about any one area. If you are especially interested in any of the topics then we will provide you with, week by week, some reference and suggestions for further reading. So what will we cover in this course and how will we do it? Well, we're going to follow an unfolding story from a crime being committed, the resulting investigation and court case, and we will finish with the jury's verdict. And in all of this, we'll explore what psychology can contribute to our understanding and in some places our practice in this context. To help us do this, we've created a crime drama to accompany the academic content in our course. Each episode of the course will begin with an episode of this drama to set the scene for what we'll be considering in that week. Following that, you'll hear from myself, Blake or Mark, and you'll engage in some activities that will help you apply what we've told you about. The content of this course reflects the types of serious crimes that can and do take place in everyday life. As such, we will frequently be discussing and thinking about crimes such as sexual assault, rape, manslaughter and murder. So we do need to start the course by giving you a warning that some of the material that we cover, both in the drama and in the academic content, may be distressing to some. In the first episode, we will look at profiling to see what aspects of the crime scene can tell us about the person or people who committed the crime. In episode two, we'll consider the issue of eyewitness memory. We'll explore how memory actually works in the context of eyewitnesses and we'll look at techniques and investigating officers can use that may help eyewitnesses recall the crime more accurately. We continue this theme in episode 3 by looking at some techniques and investigating officers have often used to help identify a suspect, photo fits and lineups. We will focus on the psychology of face recognition and some of the issues around how lineups are conducted. In episode 4, we talk about a couple of ways to interview a suspect and whether we can trust confessions or not, whether we can tell if someone is lying to us and whether lie detector machines are actually helpful. In episode 5, we consider some common issues as we get ready for trial. Who should decide the suspect's fate, a judge or a jury? Whether jury selection makes a difference to verdicts and also what the impact of media stories about cases actually is. Episode 6 covers the trial itself. How do jurors make sense of evidence? What do they pay attention to? And do they make sense of expert testimony? Next, in episode seven, we get to see the jury deliberate about what the verdict should be. We will talk about the particular characteristics of group decisions and the different ways that juries can deliberate. We'll also consider how jurors understand the judge's instructions when making their decisions. In the final episode, we hear what the verdict is. How is it possible to tell whether the verdict is correct? How can we tell if a mistake has been made? We'll also say a few words about sentencing. So you can see, we're going to take you on a journey from the start with a crime until an ending point, one where we consider sentencing. Although there are many more points in criminal justice that psychology may contribute to our understanding, such as looking at the psychological impact of imprisonment, it's at this point we have to leave Crime 101X. We hope you enjoy the course.